Hello, homesteaders and health nuts. This evening's project is cutting stinging nettles. So Lindsay and Shannon are super gloved up because it, yeah, they're like rubber. Stinging nettle lives up to its name. Um, Stepped on, on it here, once and I never will again. You, you can see all those little, little needles. And hi, hello hen, how are you? So it's super nutritious. I don't remember everything about it, but they, I do remember the ways to use it so you don't get stung. You can dry it. You can put it in a high speed, bend, high speed blender. You can cook it. So you can use this like spinach. And this is one of our first forage greens that will come up. Okay, that's good. We only want to take like 30%. So we'll move on to another patch. And because this will get about four feet tall and it gets a little flower and so we can cook it we can do it as a tea after it's dried we can put it in a smoothie and a recipe i came across was it grow forage cook ferment probably for the singing nettle frosting on gluten-free um oh, chocolate yeah. cupcakes Yum. so we have lots of options for this yeah but here we go. All right. Thanks, Shannon. Say bye to everyone. You're welcome. Make hey, sure you like and subscribe. Yeah. Thanks, Lindsay. Thanks for your help. Comment down below. Tell yeah. us how you use your stinging nettle. Yeah. How do you use your stinging nettle? And what's your favorite way to uh, harvest screens. it? Yeah. Then don't forget, like, there's so much free food out there. Go learn your weeds. Learn your wild edibles. Free food for everyone. Absolutely. Hey, we're leaving. So we brought in our giant bowl of stinging nettles and we are separating the leaves from the stems and okay so between the three of us we should be able to remember why it's good for us. So Lindsay, it's, what what were the health benefits you remembered from uh, forage stinging nettle? It's anti-inflammatory. Yes. And the tea is pain relieving ironically. Yes and it said it helped with hay fever so if you have allergies. So we're doing this because um, when we cook it, we're assuming the stems are going to be kind of woody. So we don't want to have anything that's not fun to chew. And uh, it said we can dry it for tea. We can uh, cook it like spinach. You can put it in a smoothie. So putting it in a high speed blender will break up all these needles and also freeze drying, drying, cooking will get rid of these barbs. Okay, we couldn't leave you hanging. So Miss <laughs> Shannon is has her gloves on and she's going to prepare the stinging nettles. So we use bacon fat and all onions and garlic and we are going to saute those up and then we have scrambled some free range chicken and duck eggs in here with some seaweed sea salt. So here's our, our beautiful eggs, our beautiful greens, and oh, would you like, um, I kind of need a spatula now. Yeah, over, over there. Okay. Now that, now that we've gotten them into the pan, so this heating process is what is going to remove the barbs, and so it will no longer be stinging nettle, it will just be a Porridge superfood. Beautiful. Yep. And they're gonna put some eggs on top of this. Yep, we got a lot of cooking. So I'm gonna salt. I'm gonna stop this and we're gonna come back after it's cooked. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are sauteed. Go ahead, Miss Shannon. Alright, taste test. Oh, that's some scary eyes there. <laughs> You're like <laughs> hey, as I said, it really picks up it the really onion. It really has no flavor on it its own, yeah. Picks up the onion flavor. It's like onions. Yeah, okay. it's like onions. The texture's fine. It's not it has a substantial texture. It's thicker than um, like lettuce or it's anything. Thicker, yeah. than, thicker than spinach. So yeah. we're gonna add our eggs in. Mm. Oh, it looks like a little shell in there. Someone gets a little extra a little calcium. calcium. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, beautiful. That's our cooking one, thing. Yeah. 
the bacon fat really added to the flavor. I know. I the, 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 with a green, you can't go wrong with right? bacon fat and onions and garlic. I know, she was listing all the different oils we could use, and I was like, bacon fat, <laughs> yep, that's yeah. the one. Uh -huh. Cast iron, like, almost <laughs> implies bacon fat. Yeah, we need it. Mm -hmm. I missed that. What was, <laughs> what was that, Lizzie? <laughs> The sand is great. Yeah, uh, the sand that we, The dirt's a little extra flavor, We did right? wash the MSM off our nettle, so uh, <laughs> it might be a little, little gritty. Or I got the shell. No, I think I got the shell. Oh, yeah. the, you have a little bit of eggshell in there, too. Yeah. What do you think, Rob? You don't know anything. All right. What do you think, Dad? <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Not, it's not, it's not attacking our throat, so we cooked it enough. 